Hello everyone, Yoshi 101 here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Kirby's Adventure. Um, in the last episode, we beat Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright, the one and only Sun and Moon, in Kirby Land. And now we are on level 4, Grape Garden. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Alright, dodge some flames here. So, just want to know how you guys doing. You know, I'm doing pretty good right now. Glad to see this, my first part of this um, Let's Play is doing pretty well right now. I mean, I guess, well, 17 views is pretty good, considering, I don't know. <laughs> it's it, it just, it just nice to see us getting some support. Uh, I'm recording these pretty much, not all in advance, but like, a couple, not like all at once, but like, I'm not spreading it out like one a day, like I'm posting. So, um, dump our ability here, and, oh, come on now. He just wanted to get eaten, but I wasn't there in time, and, eh. alright, I'll take it. I'll take the second UFO, whatever. Alright, so, in this world in particular, in, in this game in particular, I'm serious, I'm, se I'm serious, none of this. Okay, um, every world has a switch in the first level, like starting in world 3. Um, basically, one of these blocks was not like the others, and it was this one, so you want to press up on it. And we have a switch for me to stand to the side of and get pressed anyways. Whatever. I'm just upset I lost my UFO and died. That was kind of... Oh well. Alright, so... Get our tornado. See if I can get up this thing. Eh, not really. There we go. Um, sure. Okay. Whatever. Whenever, I, whenever something bad happens in this game, there always seems to be a waddle do around. Alright, so we got a mini game up here. Get some good old crane game going. And of course, the fact Kirby gets put all the way over there. You know what, I'm gonna go for it. I have 13 lives. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, alright, that's cool. Got it. Oh, and they're even nice. Uh, I don't know about that. I w they were nice with the game, but I just messed up all my chances. Just go like two feet, come on. Oh. Well, I still got two lives out of the more difficult one to get. Even though... Actually, I don't think it's more difficult. I think it just... It feels harder at the time, but it's probably the same. Alright. So... We are going along. Got some nice butter building music in Grape Garden. What? Okay. Can I? Okay, I can't just do that. Sure. You know what? Whatever. I don't even care. Just get me through the door. Now we're gonna go down here into the water. I'm just taking hits because I just don't care really. <laughs> just like whatever. There's no reason not to. I'm not going for a Nuzlocke or whatever, I don't know. Um, you could go down here, or you could go up here. To be honest, I don't know what's down here, so I'm gonna go this way. Alright, well, it's just a maximum tomato, sure. That's cool, because I took the upper path before. Um, uh, in this path, 
which you you have to take, is. Hold on, never mind. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, I'm gonna take the upper path here. Eh, those things are hard to dodge. Maybe if I jump them. Yeah, it's easy to do. I'll take the eagle, sure. All right, here's the Poppy Bros. Two of them this time. I don't like you, so I'm gonna hit you again. All right. Keeping track of the one I need to hit. And that's the wrong one. But okay, sure. They're both really damaged, so. Ow. Well, that one has one hit point, but I'll just eat this guy and use Crash. Because you're so weak, you needed a whole thing wasted on you. And that'll get me another Crash, so. Worth. Man, I'm just doing worse and worse at these cool games. Alright, well we got another quick draw, so let's see how I do. Probably worse than last time, so don't expect anything good. Seventeen. Seems to be my favorite number with this thing. Eh, 18. I like 18, but it's still not one of my favorite numbers. Um, alright. Oh my gosh, that was awful. I don't know how I didn't lose that. I gotta step it up. 14, alright. Now, DDD did 11 last time, so I don't think I have a chance. Oh my gosh! What? What happened? I clicked the button like twice or something. I don't. Sure, I'll take it. I don't know what happened. I thought I was gonna get like a false start or something, but I got a cannon, so that's good. Alright, well, actually, I'm gonna try something real quick. I'm curious if this will work. Use Crash. And it lit the fuse. <laughs> Alright, well, if you have Crash, you can use it to light the fuse. Normally, you would have to use fire, fireball, or laser to um, light a fuse like that. Uh, we'll be showing that off later, but in, in this instance, it's just a you know simple one-up, but later on, uh, bigger rewards are at stake. So we got a nice windy segment on these blimps. You saw a door down there, but we're, we're not going for that door. We're gonna go past one door, past two doors, and we're gonna go for the third door. And we have a switch. That'll unlock the museum for this world. And we are gonna go back in through this door. Be careful not to fall. And now we just gotta go against the wind, and we'll go back to this door over here. Alright, this is Cutter. Kirby can throw a series of cutters that return like boomerangs. Still find it funny how the high jump enemy is named Starman. There you know. we go. Ah, uh, don't. Well, whatever. There is a pep brew over here, but. I died like an idiot, so it's not there anymore. Alright, we're gonna dodge all these enemies here and go through the door. Alright, that's the best I've had this world and the last world. Alright, so I'm going to show off the museum of this world real quick. It has sleep and ball. Yeah, this is probably the worst world. I'll show these off, I guess. 
please. Let me sleep a little more. Please. So yeah. Kirby just sleeps away. I mean, he can't really do much. He just snores. And you got Ball. Like, I don't know what they were thinking with Ball. This is what you do. You can roll around, you bounce, and you can, like, jump. And if you time it, you can jump higher. Wow, the possibilities are endless for this one. I mean, props to be given out. Um, ironically, not ironically enough, uh, the name of this enemy right here, it's named Bubbles. Now, I would give Ball a chance, but, you know, sometimes I don't know what it is, but, like, if you hit it weird when you're falling on an enemy, it doesn't work sometimes, or maybe I had the wrong angle or something. So that's why I don't like Ball as much. But, I mean, whatever, you could just... They see me rolling. I mean, I don't know. I guess. Um, I'm probably gonna instantly ditch this power up, but you know, I'll give it a slight chance, so yeah. Alright, so I ditched ball because I well first of all, I ditched ball, then I died, but I died because I got hit using ball so many times. So, um and these dumb pointal birds. I know I talk about them a lot, but like I don't like them at all. And they all just disappeared, I don't care. Well, I do now, don't I? We got some purple grape things. I'm gonna eat these whizzies. Okay, you can just fly away, sure. I don't care. I don't understand what that animal is, all right, that Konu is doing in the middle of that area, but it's okay. All right, we got the wheel ability now. You want to practice up on this a little bit? Four. Here, you're gonna, you're, you're raced. You're timed. It's like a speed run over here. You know, stakes are high, and I messed up because I don't understand how you race. But anyways, regardless, if you happen to out race the block, you get a one up. All right, whatever. Okay, as you can see here, there are two enemies. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for beam, it's more long range. And, be ready for a new enemy, who's really dumb, Rolling Turtle. If he rolls and touches you at any point, he'll grab you and throw you. This guy looks like a total idiot, cause uh, his brothers are actually the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they rejected him because he was so dumb. Uh, so yeah, uh, he was so bad that they replaced him in Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland with Fan Fan. So, uh, if you don't know this guy, it's probably a good thing. He's pretty dumb. But, he gives you the ability, throw. Well, let me show this. Kirby can grab an enemy and toss it away like a star. Use it to beat others. So basically, I guess it's better than back backdrop, but it just, it, I mean, you press one again and it eliminates all the things in the way, but I just, I like back throw more. It's backdrop, whatever. And turn around. So yeah, that's throw. You're never gonna see that ability again, probably. <laughs> Alright, well we got an arena here, so... With one hit point, let's go in. Whatever. We have another color swap of bug... Z. And this color version is harder and more difficult. Well, I would assume that's what you mean by harder. But you know, whatever. Maybe maybe there's someone out there that doesn't know a really easy to know word. And this one's just wrecking me. Like, I don't know. I gotta stay far away and jump if it charges. Oh, I jumped in time. No. Alright, well. 
Uh, this will probably not be the last time you see this form of Bugsy, so I'll practice up, I guess. Oh, sweet, I got two of them, so... Well, that helped. <laughs> I got two of them, so I guess it doubled the power. So, I beat that enemy, and we are now on level 5. Let's go. Oh, thanks, Meta Knight, man. You're my hero. I always liked Meta Knight in Smash Bros. Brawl before he was popular. You know. Although I don't really play Brawl, so... <laughs> well, anymore. Alright, hey, Sparky. Okay, fine, just explode on me. This door will give you... It's not required, but... It'll give you a 1-up and a Maxim Tomato, so... Or Pepperu. There's a way to get down there. I feel bad, because I don't remember. Oh. <sighs> well, that explained my problem. I believe this is just a 1-up, but, you know. Whatever. Yeah, well, it was really worth it, wasn't it? Now you got... You just, oh, I guess I can just go through here again. Grab a rock, you know? Why not? You have to enter this door. And... We're gonna get this... Actually... Well, I don't, I'll show a stone. Kirby's body show, turns into a solid rock. In this form, he cannot be hurt by enemy attacks. And Meta Knight, I hate you. You're not my role model anymore. Because it's a gauntlet of enemies. Oh, here, this little thing over here. This is the Javelin Knight. He makes his debut here, and yeah. I mean, there's not really too much else to say. To be honest. All right, watch out for these pitch. For these guys are campers, man. They just stand there. All right, where's the door? All right. Um, you're gonna want to grab Fireball here. It's a good idea. They just skydive out of nowhere just to hit you. All right, now we are going into maybe I can just can you really just like run through? Wow, that's pretty sad. If you could, all right, taking one hit, I took like three in this level on this section. Whatever, that's bad. Alright, time for level 6. Alright, got a little scarfy over here. Hey buddy, thanks for blowing up man. Oh, okay. Well, I'm honestly, I'm kind of surprised I still have 16 lives, considering I've gotten hit way too many times in this Let's Play. Alright, I'm gonna go, I'll go for this pep brew, I'm a little low on health. I'm not gonna slide tackle in this instance, because this guy's gonna hit me. All right, and I'm back. Sorry, but I had a brief interruption. Um, now we got a mini boss here, Mr. TikTok again. You know, haven't seen him before. I'm gonna keep the do one attack. I think. I want to get him with the tip. Oh, oh, I messed that up. Whatever. Alright, we got Mike Kirby, it's cool. And we're now in the dark room, getting ambushed by our least favorite enemy. Ah, uh, that's, yeah, that's gone. Cool. Alright, now what you're gonna wanna do is, if you wanna do, like, I guess it's a slight sequence break, you're gonna wanna go through here and just press the switch. That'll unlock the Warp Star Station for World 4, Level 4. I don't like you guys, you're annoying. All right, there we go. Um, oh my gosh, whatever. 
All right, now this, these things over here, these are called, I'm gonna show it real quick, come back. Oh cool, they're flying all the way here. All right, well, this is the light ability. Yeah, now you can see the door. But they are called cool spooks. And they give you the light ability. I mean, it's one time use. So yeah, that's what it does. Oh, I saw that was a pit, but I sucked and then I didn't press up in time. All right, whatever. I'm keeping that part in. I'm not cutting that death out and showing it at the end of the video. Don't care. Let's show it again, because why not? Yeah. All right, and there, there's the Waddle do. He's just sitting there, he's, he's watching. He's like, hi, you got, you got hit, man. I'm sick of your attitude, Sword Knight. Use the sword to defeat enemies. If you attack in midair, Kirby will spin and slash. Hack and slash. Alright, I'm gonna grab this one more time just to show this off. Dark areas can be spooky. This lets Kirby set off fireworks. It works only in the dark. Alright, well. That's cool, I guess. Whatever. Alright, we are now on the other side of this green area. And we're gonna go in this door. And get the stone ability. Now there's... You obviously have to pound this one in first. But instead of hitting this one, you're gonna wanna hit this one first. To bring the one up, up there. And then you're gonna wanna hit this one. Let's see what this mix gets us. Parasol, all right. Eh, all right, let's go. Feeling good. Yeah, that's the first number one in a while, actually. Yeah. All right, 17 lives. Doing okay. All right, well, you guys know what a Warp Star Station is, I hope. So, um, uh, you know, time to go to the boss, I guess. Or we could just chill around down here. Nah, let's go fight the boss. Alright. Now, this has a little bit of a pre-scene. We see this one-eyed cloud going after us, so we're gonna... We're actually gonna ditch Parasol. And we're gonna get this... Starman over here to give us high jump. I usually like staying to the right for this part. On the right side of the clouds. Alright, he, he's, he's almost there. Let's keep on running. And he flies above us. So, now! Oh, I almost died. Meet Krako. He is, you've probably seen him before, he's a pretty iconic enemy, he's been in other games. He's one eyed Spike Cloud, and I actually got hit by him. When I was younger, I used to be bad at this spice fight. Boss fight. <laughs> Anyways, high jump makes this, um, high jump's probably the weapon of choice you're going to want to use, because it's pretty good, you're pretty much invincible as you're going up, so just be careful where you're landing. Pretty much if you just do this figure eight loop where you just go, you go this way and you go the other way. And he's even nice enough to shoot out Starman for you to swallow. He's like, here's, here's my weakness, go ahead. So we just got a piece of the star rod, that's pretty nice. Level five, yogurt yard. As you can tell, they try to um, have the same Letter start. Alliteration. Alright, well, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. We got to Yogurt Yard, and we're gonna continue on in the next episode. 
So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Till next time. Oops. Till next time. Peace. All right, so um, a common trend you'll notice is um, in this world, oh, not in this world, in this game, there are a lot of switches, but in particular, um, no, no, and no. I'm serious, I'm serious about this. What? Oh my gosh. Alright, let's go. I think I've shown this off, so we'll do a cutter. Kirby can throw a series of cutters that return like boomerangs. Up. Oh. Goodbye, high jump. Starman. I find it funny how it's called a Starman. Oh, no you don't, Sword Knight. I'm not letting you do this. Goodbye. Lol. Oh, boy. Alright, we're good. Give me my Pepperu, Brontobert. Let me Pepperu in peace. There's no way I'm gonna- oh, okay, sure. Oh, I didn't hit up in time. I'm so bad at this game. Well, you can't even do that, which is no fun. Although, that would be an overpowered power-up, so. See, like that. Well, it hit the sword, but see, no, I'm just not giving it any more of a chance. I don't want to die again, please, no. Oh, that's not good. They all just disappear. Uh, I jumped. I jumped that one. I jumped it. Alright, we got another Bugsy. I'm gonna die. Alright, well, that was, you know, fine. I'll, I'll go in again. This room here. Um, Fireball is useful to have because you can go through Gordos. And you can't hurt them, but you can still go through them. Um, Alright, well, I lost my one chance to beating this level semi easily. Um, got one health left. We gotta play cautious now. Huh. Alright, okay, I don't like. I don't like this at all. Uh, I gotta dodge. Oh my gosh, if I didn't move, but my finger slipped to the right on the D-pad. That's a shame.